Hannah here and Olivia. Yesterday we tried to move our refrigerator. We just got this cart from Menards and now we have to go back to Menards. Well, we might have to get this refrigerator to sit on the It's not your fault. I should have checked the wheels. We just grabbed the cart. So the lesson today. Our trout or dolly, sorry, has a flat tire. So we, so we got a new one. Yeah. And you can still see the tags. Yeah, so go ahead and take that tag off. Um, we're going to make another attempt at getting this refrigerator hooked up and out the door so we can run it to the dump quick. And we hope that this one doesn't have a flat. Yeah, this one we checked them. Actually, that's one thing that we learned. So if you're gonna learn anything from our mistakes or our uh, adventures, sucks. you would want to maybe just check tires before you take something home. Whether it's um, a bike or a dolly or, or a wagon or wheelbarrow or whatever it is, or maybe even a snowblower. Yeah, or a snowblower. But um, we did find when we went back to the store yesterday that. The one dolly that we brought home was not the only one with a flat. Mm -hmm. So the one that we have now was probably the third or fourth one that we checked. But this one has really firm tires. Yeah. So lesson learned, right? It's always so good it, if you learn from it. So it wasn't just me pushing Moses around in a box pretending he was a package. <laughs> and Moses, for those of you who don't know, is our cat. So he's not very happy. So the weight of the cat would not have done anything there. Not much. Okay, so the other thing is, um, I have the dolly, and I put it on the opposite side of the refrigerator yesterday. I thought about this. Do I want it on this side, and then back it up, or do I want it on that side and push it out? And I honestly haven't fully figured that out yet. So we're gonna figure this out together, but I think if I go on that side, I can hang on to it as I lower it down because there is one step. So I will need to do that. I'll need to like lower it, you know, kind of like tip it back to lower it. But I think if I go on this side, if I go on this side and I tip it back, then it's not going to just roll down that step. It's going to go thump thump. And I don't think I want that to happen. So can then we make it another flap. Well, it, it's just not going to feel as stable, mm -hmm. and that would probably not be very good if I lost hold of the whole thing, so. Okay, so we're going to wrap this thing up and get her out the door. Are you all set? I think I am. Okay, I'm going to switch sides with you because I need to get through here. Oh, maybe, maybe we have to go this way. Taking this to the dump. And hopefully we can get it there. Before I have to work today. So um I have um actual ties, but I can't seem to place them. So we're using a rope and it'll get us hopefully at least as far as we need to go, which is to the car. You ready to wrap it? Yep. Of you that don't know, I'm strong enough to hold a rope if I'm strong enough to hold a refrigerator door. You're so funny. Why? Why wouldn't you be strong enough to hold a rope? Like, if I would ever cross your mind to bring you to the rope? No, not really. Well, would that be a silly thing to think about? Yeah. Like, an ant can hold, what, three times their weight? This rope, an ant can hold the rope. Very little. I don't you think could. We might not be able to move the whole entire thing, but we have enough ants. I think they could bring this rope if they wanted to. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to put this rope on the back of the car. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go down lower because I want this, I don't want the bottom of my fridge to tip off of my dolly. So it's more concerning to be lower and secure than higher. Door. I think I can open. Can you open the door for me? Open the door, yes. Yeah. And then would you actually go out and make sure that the back end is open and don't let Daisy jump in. Whenever we open up the back of the van, the dog turns she's going to Okay. So while Olivia goes to do that, I'm going to this bad boy, I hope. Should have moved some stuff before, but again, another lesson to learn. Move your stuff first. Do you want me to go ahead? First, um, I think you're holding the door for me, aren't you? Yeah. Well, if I did that, it's kind of like, yeah. I'm holding the door for you. 
So you can kind of see us better. There. Tighten that up. Tightening. Perfect. We made it out the door. Mm -hmm. All right. You take hold. Uh, you ready? Huh? Follow me. We're following you. If you can't see, we have a big bump at our door. Yep, that's our trash can. Uh, you're about to the car. Uh, you're gonna hit the trash can soon. Can you guys see? You guys can see. Uh, should I this way? So she's about to the car. I'm at the car. Oh, we're at the car. Now I just have to figure out how to get it in. Yeah, it's a very sunny day though. Well, our dog's here to say hello. She's like, what's all the commotion? Well, what would be the best way to get this in? Uh, take it off the thingy majiggy and lift it with your hands. Uh, okay, if I do that though, then how would I lift it? So I think what I need to do is loosen up my rope, put my top end in first, and then push it. Okay, that's a good idea. Our sky is very blue. This is mom trying to get this. I don't know how you're gonna do that. I don't know either. We haven't thought through this part enough. Mm -hmm. but we'll it. Yeah. We'll see if we can get it in the car, and if we can, then that's good because we'll be able to take it to the dump. How about if we do some hands free again? And hold on. Gotta take you guys up. Okay guys, we gotta try to make it so we can use two hands and go forward. Well done, I got him. We have to straighten the top half. Oh, yeah. That's probably a good idea. There we there go. There we go. Hold on. Put it right here and turn it up. Ta-da! This way. 
So now you get a good view of the cart. Ooh, what's going on? Just be really careful. Okay. If you guys fall, we'll pick you up again, okay? okay. And also make sure to like and subscribe and turn on bell notifications and comment and share to our friend, please. And tell us if you think that you can do this by yourself. I think I have an idea. I think you're well, making this around. Okay, that's smart, that's smart. To. Be very careful, Mama. Okay, so I think I can take my rope off, and like, then after I take my rope off, I think I can slip it back, like lay it down into the van, and then shove it in. We'll try it. Invest in a dolly. It's actually worth it. Very. Even though it was like a hundred dollars. Uh, not quite. Well, like 75. Ah, I was wondering what that was. It's our water thingy. We got it! 
that would be um a little hard to do. grab my purse. I guess we'll see you later. Do you need to grab anything? Uh, no. I think we're going to time lapse the trip to the dump. And we're going to show you all that's happening at the dump. Because it's so exciting to see a dump. Yeah. We'll show you all Keep going 
forward, they can't see it. But we don't need that big one. There, now you can see it. Yeah, there's also a little, littler one in front of us. I think that's a dog. Same difference. What is it then? Dog kennel. See? Dog kennel. It is a dog kennel. So, if I was to look at this, because you can make your own kind of stuff, right? Right. I would look at it and I'd say, it has a little side door. So, I'm guessing that my chickens could go in and out my little side door. Especially if they're baby chicks, then they perfectly fit through. So if you, if you take a look at it, it has a side door. Let me roll down my window. It has a side door, and it also has a little box. Like, the box is where you would probably get your eggs out of. It has a little wire across the screen. Uh, across the uh, window, so maybe you could give some ventilation to your chicks. It's a four by six, so it's not the smallest size they have. It has a nice roof, it has a nice window, and it has a nice door, because you probably have to be able to get in and out of it. And it stands up on those like metal legs so it's not totally flat to the ground. Well, four by six. It's a four by six. Anyway, I like that chicken coop. See? I like that chicken coop right there. I think it's pretty awesome. Well, that's not really what we were here for, but no. You know, it's all about just going with the flow. Reclaim Barnwood Retail Store and Warehouse. Barn beams and siding, live edge slab barrels. What are some kinds of things we should probably come back for?